Ow. Ow. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquistador. Welcome to The Incredible Baron. This is a uh, new game that just uh, was released this past month. Um, interesting. Uh, it appears to be kind of a, a lane fighter kind of thing. Um, kind of generic. But... It's got a nice uh, 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 retro vibe to it. They do it. They they clearly the developers clearly put it together with some care. So that's interesting. Kind of a Sega Genesis vibe I'm getting from it. Marvelous work destroying our ship smartly. But you spy any indication of Lady Nora? No, but I do see more of those slugs. Okay. A little, a little fight in here with them slugs. Mindless mollusks have us outnumbered. Look at this build menu. Okay, so we go to the build menu. Yeah, the row bucket is a, yeah, it's literally a walking bucket with a hammer on it that will attack anything that it goes towards, which is neat. Room you're building. Gain access to the creature. difference in the strength of it, unless I'm missing something, but it's just the ability to be able to launch more than one and get up. To see the other side of the screen, you gotta drag your mouse, and it is, I don't know if you can see, but god, it is a pain in the ass. Still getting right off, so let's take a look at another build menu, sir. New bomb unit using cannon flotsam. Bitbulk will have to build both rooms and occupy the workshop room. Boy, gotcha. So I hold that. See, right now I'm trying to... God damn it. Let me do it. It's cute. I'm trying to pull to the right there, and it's just... Right, it, it, it's shaking all over the place for me, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. I won't just let me it's not smooth at all it doesn't feel good it's a bit of a pain why isn't the bomb blowing up now it blew up before yeah there we go fascinating the more of these slugs we encounter the more data we gather about their species okay we gotta blow up this conch Music's got a very 16-bit, not uh, 16, yeah, 16-bit feel to it. it. Almost, it makes me think a little bit of a uh, the Wonder Boy series. If you guys ever played that, that's an old school one. For the Master System and the Genesis. Okay, Atomic Bomb Snake. Green Robucket. Okay, you know it. This is a very They've got a very good uh, style to this game. I think it's really cool in that sense. It just it doesn't feel very good to play, which is a shame. Look, a crate of my tools as well as ashore. Locating all important. Discover a catalog of species in this land. To this end, we must recover that crate. And unfortunately, it is, you know, a lane game kind of thing. Not even that, because there's only one lane. Uh, unless something changes drastically between now and then. Which probably isn't going to happen. God, look, I'm trying to pull this to the right. And, and to the left, and it's just not letting me do it. They're attacking. God, we don't need all of this. Blast them smithereens, okay. Alright, so we build that. Got it. 
take some energy from using abilities. But I don't know if this is a. I don't know if this is exactly the right uh, style game to have a ton of dialogue. You know, this is. I mean, killing blow your flint. Okay, extra reach. Cool. Really cool. Maybe between the fights, I learned. Look, god damn it. Maybe between the fights, you teach me this shit. Because, uh. Learning about it while I go along is annoying and slows down everything. I guess technically it is because it has a lane. But, man. I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot of really good stuff here. A lot of wasted potential, too. It doesn't feel... It needs a patch. It needs... It needs a little TLC for this to work. Completed our research on the statues, another victory for science, awesome. Fight rank two, all right, what does that mean? Obsidian Baron, Flintlock Blast. What does being rank two mean? Does it do anything? All right, analyze the research from those statues. I believe we can use them for our own means. Splendid, my boy. The mark of a true gentleman this day and age is his understanding of the world around him. I believe we are well on our way to being masters of the biological world. With so many more creatures at our disposal, we will need to be selective about what we talk, take into each adventure. Okay, so, yeah, so I've got to pick my weapons. Got it. Yeah. Equip the units and abilities we want to use in battle. Got it. Dragon on the building. Okay. I got it. I got it. You're all right. Some units... Oh, wait. There's some shields. We'll look at that later. Abilities. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And now their abilities and their abilities I don't know the first thing about. Oh god, I hope I don't have to do that again. Yes, please. Oh, thank god. How nice of you like, that you actually gave us that option. Some powers. Oh, we gotta get this guy and this guy and this guy. Because fuck it. Obsidian Baron. Sounds great. Smartly! What is in what is that in the distance? It looks like one of our my <laughs> Your row bucket, sir, but dark and evil. Preposterous. Only I know the schematics for the row bucket. Send our units to destroy the abomination. Yeah. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. You know. Graphics, nice sprites. They're well animated. Very, very interesting, but man. It's kind of more of the same, isn't it? It's just whatever, but it feels a little clunky to move, and I'm sitting there listening to people talk in the middle of the fight, which I know is a tutorial thing, but man, I, I, I think most people who have played video games are already there. They get it. Only room so we can have access to more units. Okay, great. That interruption. Man, it just gets there. So, killing, killing, yeah. Alright, so it's smooth. Alright, now it's smoothing out. 
little bit. Smooth when it wants to be and <laughs> not when it doesn't, I suppose. Just almost all the time. Do horrifying, amazing damage to the cloth tent that you've built up here. Best of luck to you. This is these are your defenses, I suppose. Man, that, that is a tough tent. I ain't taking any of our shit. <laughs> luck bandage, awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been The Incredible Bear, and I, I think you get the idea. Um, interesting. I, I, I want to play this more. I genuinely do, just to look at it. I know it's a small thing, but look at the Baron right now. Look at that animation. That looks good. Like, that's solid Sega Genesis Master System style animation. It looks good. It looks really, really good. Um... But it doesn't feel good to play, uh, so it needs a patch, or or whatever, it, whatever they have in mind. It needs a patch. It needs a little smoothing out. Yeah, worth a look. Worth worth maybe taking the time to to give it a glance. I think you, I think you might enjoy this. Uh, yeah, the Incredible Baron. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. Please join me tomorrow for some more good stuff. I'm going to be in Anaheim. Uh, for the uh, Call of Duty MLG event that's going on out there this weekend. So uh, please follow me on Twitter at El Conquistadork, which of course is Spanish for the Conquistadork, uh, to, 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 to follow me and see what's going on out there. Otherwise, in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.